just got really windy. This is gonna be a problem. Okay, everybody, we've got another build and vlog for you today. We're coming to you from just west of Orlando, Florida. We're with Hughes Brothers Construction. We've worked with them quite a bit in the past. We're excited to be back. I love visiting this company. Um, they, they know how to move dirt. We're standing right now on what will, will, will be a enormous pond, almost like a lake for this monster subdivision we're at. Uh, they're, I guess, in under a year, maybe even less than nine months, they're moving about 12 million yards for this job. Uh, in total, there's about 7,000 lots, high school, shopping center. This place is unbelievably huge. So they're, like I said, they're digging a pond here. So this is behind me, somewhat of the finished bottom of the pond. In Florida, because of the groundwater, you need to operate all of these massive dewatering pumps to get the water level to a point where you can even dig. So they have all these pumps lining this, this pond, pumping all this water out to keep the water down. But once they turn the pumps off, this whole thing's gonna be full of water. Now because of the water and the mud and the soft material and the sand and the muck, it's just gnarly material. They can't run trucks down in the bottom. So if this was a quarry, you'd be, you'd have your excavator sitting up here, your truck sitting down there, so you could be loading off of a bench. It doesn't work that way in Florida a lot of times. So what they have to do is they have to, to back the trucks in at the same level the excavator's at so they can get the material onto the truck without the truck sinking into the mud. So that's why they're loading like they are behind me. Also, another thing to point out, 349s are really the biggest excavator you can run out here because of the material. A bigger machine's just gonna sink. Based on their cycle times, they can go just as fast with these 349s with these bigger buckets on them than using something like a 374. Uh, because you just, it, this, moves a hell of a lot quicker than a, than a bigger machine. It's cool stuff. On this project in particular, the schedule is very important and they don't want to be held up. Uh, if you've ordered anything, you've likely noticed these supply chain problems that the entire United States is facing right now. And that is, is constraining everything, including uh, manholes, pipe, everything like that. So what this developer's done is they've actually stockpiled pipe, manholes, everything they need for a year or two of work ahead of them so that they're not held up at all by the supply chain, which is very, very unique. And if you have the finances to do that, it's pretty clever because a lot of other contractors I know are screwed right now because of uh, not just material shortages, but also enormous price increases. So they've stockpiled everything. This is just a small piece of it. They're scattered across the whole job site, these huge laydown yards. And that's something uh, I haven't seen at, at this scale before. So look at how many freaking manholes they have stacked up here. Wow. And I haven't even seen a project like this at, at this scale uh, all that much in the United States. You'll see subdivisions sometimes like this, maybe in California, Arizona. There's a little bit in North Carolina right now, Texas, but Florida is just booming. So many people are moving here from all over the United States, especially driven by the COVID push over the past two years. And to try to get ahead of it, they're having to build subdivisions like this.
Thanks everybody for tuning in. I'm gonna get in the car before we get sprayed by this water wagon.